Canva. It's kind of a bit of a dirty word in the direct-to-film industry, mostly because printers get Canva designs that are super low resolution, and most users don't know how to get the proper resolution out of Canva, among some other issues. But we'll cover those in a series of videos, hopefully helping end users that like to create on Canva give the best quality design to their direct-to-film printer. And for folks that print direct-to-film transfers, Possibly you can share these videos with your customers that are sending you low res files. So let's jump into Canva. Here we are in Canva. I'm gonna show you a couple things that have to do with both the paid and the not paid version. There are other features like background, transparency, stuff like that that are paid features that we'll cover in another video. But today we're just gonna talk about resolution. So I created this cute little design earlier. It's a 12 by 16 image. I've got all the stuff in there properly. I'm using the right kind of fonts and things like that. Uh, and when, after I'm done creating it, I go to share it. And when I share it as a download, you're gonna see our resolution's only 1500 by 2000. And here's the problem. Canva's default resolution is about 96 DPI. And what's best for DTF printing is 300 DPI. So it's almost three times too small to print well with DTF. So one of the first ways you can adjust that size up is using the size slider here to bring the pixels up. So in the case of something being 12 inches wide, I want it to be about 3,600 pixels wide because that's 300 times 12. But you'll notice if I go to change this slider, that's a premium option. So if you don't pay for premium Canva, here's how to get your graphics sized properly. Let's go to create a new design. We're gonna do custom size, but instead of doing inches, we're gonna do pixels. And again, because we know that 300 pixels per inch is what we want, however big your graphic is, we wanna multiply those inches by pixels. So in the case of wanting to do a 12 by 15 image, I would do 3,600 pixels wide, which is 12 inches, and our height at 4,500, that's gonna give us a 12 by 15. Let's create that new design. We're gonna create the exact same design, so let me do that real quick. All right, we've got that same exact design we recreated, and when we go to share it, now it's gonna allow us to download it as 3,600 pixels by 4,500. One other note when sharing this as a PNG is you have to pay for the premium version to have transparent background. Now, if the person printing the DTF transfers has a pro version of Canva, you can share this file with them and they can download it as a transparent PNG. One other thing to note is as a DTF printer, if you get a graphic that is like this, it's likely going to come into your RIP software way too big because Canva is embedding that 96 DPI figure into their file. So you're gonna load it in, it's still gonna say low resolution, but there's actually enough pixel data there for you to shrink it down and not have any issues. Once again, there are other like hiccups here and there with like semi-transparent pixels and with background removal and stuff like that, but we'll cover those in another video. I hope this video helps you export your graphics you've made in Canva in a resolution that's gonna make your DTF printer happy. For more DTF tips, tricks, education, all sorts of stuff, make sure you subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.